Hey, how you guys doing today? I'm gonna do a get ready with me chit chat kind of video while I'm doing at the same time the new YouTuber tag. I have the questions right here on my tablet and I'm just gonna answer them while I get ready. So I'm not gonna talk about what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put on my makeup and answer these questions. I'm no beauty guru and you probably won't learn anything new and interesting from me today. The first question is, what's my first name? My name is Dominique. I don't like to go by any other name. When I was younger in high school, people used to call me Ducky from the Lambie to Four Time, and I didn't like it. I just allowed people to call me that. But now I just go by my plain name, which is Dominique. Hyde is my last name. Soto is my hyphenated married name. Yes, I am married happily five years. Let's zoom you guys in a little bit here. Get all up in my face though. Oh yeah, all up in there. I was thinking about changing my name to some quirky YouTuber name, but I just like being called myself, my name. My own name, myself. The second question is reasons for starting YouTube. I started YouTube to find people who have the same interests as I do. So far I've done beauty and fashion videos, but that's not all that I'm interested in. I'm interested in, you know, TVs, movies, music. So I'm going to be expanding my channel more once I figure out how to bring those things to you in a very interesting way. And the other reason that I wanted to start a YouTube channel was mainly for thrifting and showing how I style my thrifted outfits. Thrifting is something that I love very, very much and I always get questions about it. Am I going to be able to chat with you guys while I do my eyebrows? This will be the test, the true YouTuber test right here. Question number three is, when did you become passionate about makeup? When I was younger, my mom did not allow me to wear makeup at all until I was 16 years old. And then when I did start wearing makeup when I was 16, I only wore eyeliner and a mascara. And then I, when I got a little older, I started wearing blush. And I didn't really get into wearing like foundation and contouring and everything until I was 25. But I am passionate about makeup now. I love to do my makeup and I'm hoping to expand my makeup knowledge, makeup experience. Hopefully I'll get more into makeup. I'm going to start practicing my looks that I plan on doing for Halloween soon so I can bring some really great looks to the channel. Are they even you guys? Can you tell? Are they even? Question number four is what are my other interests besides uh, makeup? I already talked about it. My other interest is fashion. I love to really put together unique looks that, like I always say, that, that I'm not going to bump into somebody else wearing. I like to be an individual. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to look like every other Becky, Sarah, and Miranda around. Not that I ever will. I think my my look has always stood out from everybody else's, which I can appreciate. I like being a unique individual. Who wants to be a cookie cutter, you know? Question number five is what is something odd about me? Something odd. I guess people always say the weirdest thing about me is my personality because I am black and people automatically assume that I'll talk a certain way and dress a certain way and listen to a certain type of music, but I don't. I was raised in the suburbs. Most of my best friends are white. 
So I talk different than people from the inner city do. And I actually do not like rap music at all unless it's old school rap from the 90s or the 80s or sometimes the 70s, some of that really early rap. I'm really into classic rock right now. I'm super into house music. Like I said, I enjoy being an individual. I don't want to be like everybody else. And that really makes me stand out to certain people. They call me odd. They call me weird. They say, oh, you're the whitest black person I know. And now I'm starting to get really offended by it because the music that I listen to, the way that I dress and the way that I talk does not define how black that I am. My favorite TV shows, I love to watch TV. Me and my husband, all we do on our spare time is watch TV. I love... I love Supernatural, love that show. Got my husband into watching it. I've watched it probably like 10 times from beginning to end already and I watch it probably about three or four times with my husband. All the time before the new season starts, we always watch it for the last season over again. And then, it's right now my favorites are Humans, Defiance shows. I just love TV shows, I don't even know how to narrow it down. TV makes my life complete. The next question is, what is my favorite color? Growing up, my favorite color was always red because that was my mom's favorite color and she always decorated the house in red. So that was just my favorite color for a really long time. Right now, my favorite color is black. <laughs> Does that count as a color? Because it's kind of void of color. Black. I really like black and whites and prints. I don't really have like a favorite color that I always gravitate towards. I just like to be in color or black or in white. Does that make sense? Probably not. The next question is what do I do on most days? Most days I work. I work the overnight shift at a hotel. And my husband works in the daytime and I work in the nighttime. So at night I go to work and then my husband picks me up in the morning and then I come home and I go to sleep until about five o'clock when my husband comes home from work. And then we usually watch TV. One of us cooks dinner. We usually spend about an hour arguing who's, about gonna, who's gonna cook dinner, who's gonna wash the dishes because that's what married life is really all about, right? The next question is, if I'm a spender or a saver, honestly, I'm both. Because I can spend some money quickly. I will spend it, but I'm also a saver because I like to find deals when I'm going to be spending my money. I like to buy things on Amazon. I like to buy things at the thrift store. I like to go shopping on the clearance rack. But when I do those things, I'm not just spending a little bit of money. I'm spending a lot. And the problem that we have, me and my husband and I, is that we both like to spend money. Because sometimes he'll spend money too. Like just this weekend, I had some stuff in the Amazon cart and he just bought it. I didn't tell him to buy this stuff, but he bought it anyway, nonetheless. Like we both have a spending problem. But the first step is admitting it. The next question is kind of stupid. I don't really like it, but I'll still answer it anyway. It's asking me if I was a Disney princess, which Disney princess would I be? I would never be a Disney princess. I don't want to be a damsel in distress looking for my Prince Charming. And that's all what always bug me about Disney princesses. They, like, real life is not a Disney movie. There's no Prince Charming out there who's going to come and rescue you from your life. There's not that. There's falling in love a bunch of times until you find the right guy for you. Thank you.
And every time you fall in love, you're gonna swear up and down that that guy is the right one and you wanna spend the rest of your life with him. But you don't. And when you are done with that guy, you're gonna be like, what the hell was I thinking? But Disney princesses never go through that. They always find the guy, fall in love, get married, live happily ever after. There's no such thing as happily ever after. And that's what little girls these, these, these days need to realize. The next question is, what is my favorite beauty product? My favorite beauty product right now is, I got all my makeup laid out right here. Right now I'm loving this Wet n Wild Fergie. Uh, it's like a shimmer palette. I really like the color. I like to use it as like a blush bronzer highlight on top of my blush. I love the color of it. Look at that color. I love it. And I'm really happy that I bought this. And then another thing that I'm loving right now is what I did a review on already. Is my Fit, De Fit Me Dewy Foundation. I like this. I did go and buy... Uh, get a sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation that just came out and I was going to do a review about it, try to like, do a whole segment to buy or not to buy, but honestly, this foundation was not good. I didn't like it. It made me feel too cakey, clogged up my pores. If I put on a little bit too much, my husband's like, whoa, you have too much foundation on. He never says that. So I can tell that that foundation was not for me, so I couldn't even do a review on it. I'll just tell you right now, I didn't like it. I'm not gonna go spend $43 on it to do a review for YouTube for me to not to like it, so there's that. The next question is, what's my favorite perfume? I happen to have it right here, because I keep it in my makeup bag. It's the Philosophy Fresh Cream Perfume. I got this as a gift. And I never tried it because when I smelled it in the cap, I thought that it smelled like like a fresh linen kind of smell and I don't really like that smell. I like more sweet. I like to smell like a cookie or a cupcake, honestly. I like to smell like food. When somebody hugs me, be like, damn, I just want to eat you. I just want to put you in my mouth. That's what I like to smell like. And then when I rediscovered this perfume, I sprayed it on and I loved it. And now I just, I just can't stop wearing it. It smells so good. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, gotta get it. The next question is my favorite song right now. So, if you didn't know, I make monthly playlists of my favorite songs. I've been doing it since January. So, I just wrapped up my July playlist and I love it a lot. So, if you want to know what my favorite song is, you can go ahead and check out my July playlist for that. <laughs> Shameless plug. The next question and the last question is what is my favorite lipstick? I love lipsticks. I have everything that's left in my makeup bag right now. This is all lipstick in here right now. There's everything that's left in there. But I did take out my favorite ones of right now for the summer. My first one is this Milani Double Espresso. It's like a nice brown tone. I love that. It's got a little gold shimmer in there. Really great. I get compliments every time I wear it. My next one is another Milani one. This is Black Cherry. I love this one too. This is actually my second one. I bought one and I loved it and I wore it for like a week straight and then it just disappeared out of my house. Just gone. Just disappeared up and walked out. So I finally bought another one. My other one is this Wet n Wild. Cherry Bomb, also my favorite. Love it, can't live without it. Never want to not have it again. Love it. My other favorite lipstick is actually a lip liner that I wear as a lipstick. I got this at the hair supply store. The girl who was checking me out, she had it on and I just really wanted it. I'm like, what color is that? Give me two of them right now. And it's this really deep purple color. When I wear it on my lips, it looks almost black. If you look at my thrift, my first thrift video, I was wearing it, and it looks like I have black lipstick on, but it's actually this deep purple lipstick. I think today I'm going to wear double espresso, though.
All right, guys, I'm all finished. Answered all these dumbass questions that I don't feel even got you to know anything about me. So let me know if you guys want me to do any more of these tags so you can find out more stuff about me. But this one was kind of stupid, but I did it nonetheless. Should have read the questions first is what I should have did. Now, I'm all finished. And I'm gonna go get on with my life, cook my husband dinner. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you did actually like the way I answered the questions, maybe, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll talk to you guys next time.